Hey guys, this is Hardy Kid Elite here, and today we're gonna be reacting to another SML video called The uh, Purple Problem. It looks like when he's in here, Ronald McDonald and Grimace. Oh. oh, this is gonna be an interesting video, so let's see what happens. Ooh. At take five, you stay in your car because we're faster than you think. All the change is done. Oh man, All guys, right. I love Baconator Wednesdays. Yeah, that's not even a thing, but we're <laughs> gonna pretend it's a thing this week and then forget about it. Oh yeah, we are. All right, guys, let's take bites of our Baconators. Wait, Cody, what's this in my burger? Wait, what is that? Let me see. Oh, that's a bread clip. I'm not even screwing with you guys. We actually found this in the burger before we got the scene. Like, really? it was just in there. So, great job, Wendy's. Yeah, yeah do you a better job. And, and are these purple Frosties? Wait a minute. Didn't McDonald's do something like this last year with the Grimace shake? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, dude. They totally did. Wendy's still in their flow. Yeah, wait a minute. Does McDonald's know that they stole their idea? Guys, guys, look at this. I looked it up on Reddit to see if this has happened to anybody else. And look, two years ago, somebody found the exact same bread clip in their burger. Wait, so this is not oh, really? before? Yeah, apparently this is a common brown for Wendy's. They just can't stop doing it. They love it. Okay, well, we should sue them, because if we would have choked on that, we would have died. Yeah, you're right. This is kind of a big deal. Yeah, we should sue Wendy's. Let's go sue Wendy's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come oh, my to God. Papa. What the fuck? Come to Ronald. <sighs> oh, my God. Mm. Why you gotta be weird? <laughs> button hair. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, should have done it. Let's watch some TV. Hi, I'm Wendy from Wendy's. You know what would go great with a Wendy's cheeseburger? A purple frosty. That just sounds perfect. Add purpose to your day. Mmm, <laughs> now that tastes perplexing in a good way. Order one today. My original idea, a purple frosty. Yeah, right. You shit me. <laughs> you shit me. Shake I yeah. I gotta call Steve. Oh, I'm so mad I'm shaking. You better raise the phone, Steve. <laughs> Answer the damn phone. Yeah. Hey, Freddy, you, Grandpa. Don't mention it, kids. Oh, what's wrong, Freddy? Oh. I you on your pizza are too spicy, and it makes me poop my pants. Oh, well, just pick them off. Well, hold <laughs> on, kids. Grandpa's getting a phone call. Hello? Steve, what are you doing? D do you have... Time to talk, or is this a bad time? Well, Ronald, I'm having dinner with my grandkids. Can I just call you after? Oh, you with your <laughs> grandkids. Yeah, yeah, I can talk later. Go ahead, go ahead and spend time with your stupid ass, <laughs> ugly ass, lame ass, goofy ass, go melon watching head ass, head on the ball shake, head ass, grandkids. Steve, you work for me, Steve. <laughs> You need to talk to me! <laughs> I'm so sorry, kids. You're right, Ronald. What do you want to talk about? Well, Steve, I was sitting here eating french fries and ketchup off my belly and shit, <laughs> looking like a damn mess, embarrassing myself, and then I turn on the TV, and I see that Wendy's came out with a new purple frosty or some shit. Purple, Steve. Purple? Now where did they get that idea from, Steve? Oh, I know. You remember last year when I came out with the purple Grimace shake and people ate that shit up, Steve? I mean, I made billions, Steve. Yeah. Everyone was eating that shit. I bet Wendy's. Yeah, I did a video about that on TikTok, too. Saw that. And they said, oh, our sales are plummeting. Whatever are we going to do to make them go back up? Oh, I know. How about we steal the purple shake idea from Ronald McDonald? That copycat, unoriginal, idea stealing. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I want repercussions, Steve. I want her to suffer, Steve. Why is she not suffering yet, Steve? Well, Ronald, you don't own the color purple. Oh. You're right. My bad. I, I am overreacting, Steve. I I think I called the wrong number because I thought I was calling my manager, Steve. <laughs> you know, the person that's supposed to help me. It's like I gotta do things myself. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.
Oh, uh, he's actually going to the drive through. Oh. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. What can I get for you? Yeah, this is totally not Ronald McDonald. Yeah, all right. I was just wondering if you maybe had one of those purple frosties that's totally not a ripoff of the creamy shake from McDonald's. I'm so sorry, sir. We sold out of those. I bet you have, you slut, because you got the whole idea from me. That's right. It's me, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> your asses. It was me wearing a big mustache the whole time. <laughs> you thieves. You bunch of thieves. That's right. Ronald's gonna get his. Uh, you, Wendy. Ronald's gonna get his. Suck my dick, Wendy. You whore. <laughs> Ronald's is better anyway. Right, hold on. You. <laughs> right, hold on. Let me fix this. Sold out right. my oh, ass. Shit. Right I'm gonna give me one of those purple frosties, one way or another. Oh, Grimace! Daddy needs uh -oh. you! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Settle down, boys, settle down. You hungry? You want a fry from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Yeah, so Daddy needs a favor. You remember that stupid slut Wendy? I hate her! Yeah, me too. Well, she stole something from Daddy. She stole the Grimace Shake, and she's calling it a purple frosty? Say what? I know, I know, so Daddy needs you to go get him one of those frosties and bring it back to me. Okay! <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Jeffy, get in here and eat uh -oh. your Wendy's. Did she shave? Because the last time she had a bush like a porcupine and I was picking hair out of my teeth for a week. Oh, <laughs> you were talking about your food. Jeffy, shut up and eat your cheeseburger. I also got you french fries. I had a couple of them. You mean all of them? No. There's, yeah. There's some at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, there they are. Yeah, and I got you a purple milkshake. Mario Marvin, it's a frosty, <laughs> not a milkshake. It doesn't matter, Jeffy. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? <laughs> The, the cheeseburger smells bad, Daddy. Uh oh. You that noise? Oop, the grimace broke again. <laughs> Jeffy, what did he, he say? He took the shake. I don't know. We were just speaking in our native language of Tardanese. So what did he say? Well, I don't know, but I think he just wanted my Frosty. Oh, man, I, that cost two ninety nine. <laughs> that cost two ninety nine. Oh, Good boy. Now you made Ronald so happy. Now let's try this shit. Mm. Shit tastes just like the Grimace shake. That copycat whore. But now that I got this, I'm gonna ruin that slut Wendy's life. Uh oh. Order, order, order. order. I am the owner of Old George Boomer. And today we will be hearing the case of Ronald McDonald, who is suing Wendy's for stealing his purple grimace shake idea and trying to sell it as a purple frosty. Mr. McDonald, let's hear your side of the case. Oh, Your Honor, please help me. I was at a homeless shelter giving away free cheeseburgers to yeah, all right. pregnant women with AIDS. When all of a sudden I see this commercial for Wendy's come on, and they're bragging about stealing my Grimace shake. They're calling it a purple frosty or some shit. They're stealing money from me, Your Honor. Wendy's a greedy, I did steal it whore. Miss Wendy's, is this true? Did you steal the Grimace shake idea from McDonald's? No, Your Honor. I make my famous chocolate flavored frosties and then I decided it might be fun to make a purple berry flavored frosty. Oh my ass! One year to the day that I made my gravy shake! You stupid! I dare steal it! Settle down, Mr. McDonald. Now, Miss Wendy, it has been exactly one year since the Grimace Shake was released, so it is kind of suspicious that you would release a purple frosty. Your yeah, that is true. He doesn't own the color purple. Okay, now you're starting to sound like my mansion. That's like if you were suing me for selling cheeseburgers. He doesn't own burgers either. 
either. Actually, you know what, Your Honor? Now I want to sue it for selling cheeseburgers. <laughs> 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 oh, it's got me sounding like a damn turkey. <laughs> Mr. McDonald's, Wendy is right. You do not own the rights to the color purple, and you do not own the rights to cheeseburgers. Now, it is true, Wendy may have copied your idea for a purple shake, but that does not count as copyright infringement. So, I have to find Wendy not guilty of copyright infringement. This case is closed. Yes! Oh, this is bullshit, <laughs> Your Honor! Mr. McDonald removed from my courtroom. Bullshit, Your Honor! This is absolute bullshit! Come on, buddy, time to go. You'll rule the day, Wendy's! You'll rule the day! <laughs> Wendy's nuts! Oh, hell no! I'll catch you! Thank you so much, Your Honor, for finding me not guilty! Now hold on, Wendy, because uh -oh. I still have another lawsuit against you on my desk. You are being sued by two kids who claim to have found a bread clip uh -oh. in their baconator. Uh -oh. What? Junior and Cody, please explain what you found. Yes. Well, Your Honor, we were eating our baconators for Baconator Wednesday, and then I saw a bread clip in my burger, and I was like, damn, I can't eat that. Yeah, it's true. I saw the whole thing. Your Honor, they could have put that bread clip in the burger just to get an easy check from me, just like the lady who put the finger in the chili. Yeah, the finger was me. I'm on, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this, this guy is true. Junior and Cody, do you have any proof you didn't put the bread clip in the burger yourself? Yes, Your Honor. There are multiple other posts online from people who've also found this exact looking bread clip in their burgers from Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Well, Wendy, I find you guilty of putting bread clips in burgers, and I order you to pay these two kids $20,000 for mouth reconstruction surgery if they need it from biting into that bread clip. What? Our mouths are fine. We didn't even bite it. We just want them to stop putting bread clips in their burgers. Also, you didn't bang the gavel thing, so does it, does it count? Oh, yeah. Bam. It's done. <laughs> so, Cody, what are you going to do with your $10,000? Well, I'm not going to buy Wendy's, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand how a bread clip got into a burger. I know, yeah. many times, too. It wasn't just us, it was a lot of people. Yeah, I don't understand how you take the clip off the bread and it just falls into the burger. Between the patties. It was between the patties, too. How does that happen? You have to put a patty down, and then and then you have to do whatever causes the bread clip to fall, and then it goes right in the burger, and you just put another patty on top of that, and you don't even notice? I don't understand. Guys, like, this whole video is about the Ronald McDonald thing. And then we got the intro like last, and then we saw the bread clip, and then we had to make a whole story behind that because that actually happened. Yeah, so watch out. I mean, yeah, good thing we only ordered it for the scene. Good thing we weren't eating it. Yeah, no, we didn't take a bite, but like, you know, if you're getting Wendy's, just, you know, check. Check for bread clips. Yeah. Square burgers. Uh oh. Sea salt. Is Ronald gonna kill her? Freshly squeezed lemonade. Yep. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, something happened, right? Hey guys, it's Logan. Okay. I just want to give you guys a quick update to let you guys know that you might not have videos for a few days. Yesterday we were filming a Fast and Furious Jeffy parody video, Ooh. and I got in a car accident and I broke my back. So I'm currently in a back brace for 12 weeks. Uh, the airbag got my arm pretty good. But uh, I was in the hospital all night. Oh, I, dang. Broke, I fractured my L1, L4 vertebrae. So yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. I can't really bend down or sit. And if you know, when I film these videos, I sit down when I film. So yeah, if you guys uh, don't, if you guys just understand that, you know, I'm going to try to film as soon as I can, as fast as I can. But um, they told me that if I want my back to heal without causing more problems, I need to rest. So they have me on pain medicine. I'm trying not to take it because I don't like pain medicines. But I just want to give you guys an update about me and why there may be a few days before the next video after this one. I'm going to try to get the Fast and Furious video out hopefully by Saturday. But I am in a lot of pain. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. You guys are the best fans in the world. And um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be alive after this. Um, yeah. I felt my back break when it hit. And, I, and it was pain just shot at my spine. But I'll make a whole vlog about that. But um, thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best fans in the world. And I'm going to try to get back to work for you guys as soon as as soon as soon I can. Yeah, heal yourself. Oh. Yeah, you should heal, heal yourself for all that. 
think it'll break or something, yeah. That surprised me that he broke his back for doing a video. Yeah, that's wild. Alright, guys, that's the end of the video. Want more Party Kid Elite? Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you guys again until the next video.